Hello students, this is Pathology, Chapter 7, Part 2. Verrucous carcinoma is a slow-growing exophytic tumor with a pebbly red and white surface. It is a tumor with numerous papillary epithelial projections, such as in the image on the right in the commissure of the lip. Papillary projections are filled with keratin. The epithelium is well differentiated and does not contain atypical cells. It also exhibits broad-based reedy pegs. The tumor does not show invasion through the basement membrane. It is treated by surgical excision. Basal cell carcinoma is a malignant skin tumor associated with excessive exposure to sun. It frequently arises on the skin of the face. It appears as a non-healing ulcer with characteristic rolled borders. Most cases occur in white adults with no sex predilection. See the image on the right with the black arrow pointing to the basal cell carcinoma next to the corner of the nose. The basal cell car carcinoma microscopically is composed of basal cells derived from squamous epithelium and microscopically it shows a proliferation of basal cells into the underlying connective tissue. It is treated by surgical excision, and radiation therapy may also be used to treat large lesions. It rarely metastasizes. Salivary gland tumors are pleomorphic adenomas, monomorphic adenomas, adenoid cystic carcinomas or cylindroma, and mucoepidermoid carcinoma. Salivary gland tumors may arise in either major or minor salivary glands. Minor salivary gland tumors are most often located at the junction of the hard and soft palate. Adenomas are benign tumors of salivary glands. See the tumor on the palate in the image on the right. Here are some more images of salivary gland tumors. And here are some more. Pleomorphic adenoma is a benign mixed tumor. It is a benign salivary gland tumor and it comprises 90% of all salivary gland tumors. It is the most common extraoral location in the parotid gland. The most common intraoral location is the palate. Microscopically, we see an encapsulated tumor composed of tissue that appears to be a mix of both epithelium and connective tissue. Clinically, it appears as a slowly enlarging, non-ulcerated, painless, dome-shaped mass. It is treated with surgical excision. Recurrence rates vary. They are related to the success of the initial surgical removal. Lesions have been known to undergo malignant transformation. A monomorphic adenoma is a benign encapsulated salivary gland tumor. It shows a uniform pattern of epithelial cells microscopically. It occurs most commonly in adult females and most often in the upper lip and buccal mucosa. It is treated by surgical excision. 
monomorphic adenoma, Warthin tumor, an encapsulated tumor with epithelial and lymphoid tissue. It is a painless, soft, compressible or fluctuant mass. It usually occurs on the parotid gland, but rarely intraorally. It occurs predominantly in adult men. Adenoid cystic carcinoma or cylindroma is a slow-growing malignant tumor of either major or minor salivary gland tissue. It may be ulcerated and painful. The most common site is the parotid gland. Microscopically, it shows unencapsulated infiltrates in the surrounding tissue. It's small, deeply staining, uniform epithelial cells that resemble Swiss cheese. It is treated with surgical excision. Mucoepidermoid carcinoma is a malignant salivary gland tumor. It is an unencapsulated, infiltrating tumor. Major gland tumors are most often found in the parotid gland. Minor gland tumors are on the palate. It appears at, clinically as a slowly enlarging mass or masses. They may occur over a wide age range, but usually occur in adults. It's the most common malignant salivary gland tumor in children and occurs most often in females. It is treated by surgical excision. Other malignant salivary gland tumors include polymorphous low-grade adenocarcinoma, acinic cell adenocarcinoma, and other adenocarcinomas. Odontogenic tumors include epithelial odontogenic tumors, mesenchymal odontogenic tumors, mixed odontogenic tumors, and peripheral odontogenic tumors. See Table 7-4 in your textbook for more information. Odontogenic tumors are derived from tooth-forming tissues. They may be composed of epithelium, mesenchyme, or a combination of both. Most are benign, but rare malignant forms exist. Epithelial odontogenic tumors include ameloblastoma, calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor, adenomatoid odontogenic tumor, calcifying odontogenic cyst. Ameloblastoma is a benign, slow-growing, but locally aggressive epithelial odontogenic tumor. It may occur in either the mandible or maxilla, most often in the mandible, in the molar, or ramus area. It is unencapsulated and infiltrates into the surrounding tissue. Ameloblastoma is composed of ameloblast-like epithelial cells surrounding areas resembling stellate reticulum. See the image on the right for more information. Radiographically, it shows as a multilocular soap bubble-like or honeycombed radiolucency. It may occur anywhere in the jaws and can occur in association with a dentigerous cyst. It may cause expansion of bone as well. Treatment is with surgical removal and recurrence is common. Calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor or pinboard tumor is a benign epithelial odontogenic tumor composed of islands and sheets of polyhedral epithelial cells. Amyloid-like material is seen with calcification within the deposits. 
it most often affects adults with no sex predilection. The calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor radiographically shows up as a unilocular or multilocular radiolucency. It occurs most often in the mandible than, the, than in the maxilla and most often in the bicuspid and molar area. It is treated with surgical excision. Adenomatoid odontogenic tumor is an encapsulated benign epithelial odontogenic tumor. 70% occur in females younger than 20 years of age. 70% involve the anterior portion of the jaws. It is more common in the maxilla than in the mandible, and many are associated with impacted teeth. The tumor microscopically is surrounded by a dense, fibrous connective tissue capsule. It consists of duct-like structures, whorls, and large masses of cuboidal and spine spindle-shaped epithelial cells. Radiographically, it shows up as a well-circumscribed radiolucency that may have some radiopaque areas. It is treated by enucleation. A calcifying odontogenic cyst is a non-aggressive cystic lesion lined by odontogenic epithelium. It is most commonly seen in individuals under 40 years of age. Radiographically, it shows up as a well-defined lesion that may be either unilocular or multilocular and may also have calcifications. Microscopically, it has an associated characteristic ghost cell keratinization. Ghost cells are round structures with clear centers. It is treated by surgical enucleation and usually does not recur. Mesenchymal odontogenic tumors include odontogenic myxoma, central cementifying and ossifying fibromas, and benign cementoblastoma. Odontogenic myxoma is a benign, non-encapsulated, infiltrating tumor, which most often occurs in young people between 10 and 29 years of age and has no sex predilection. Radiographically, it shows up as multilocular, or honeycombed radiolucency with poorly defined margins. It may become large and displace teeth. It most often occurs in the mandible. Microscopically, it, the odontogenic myxoma is composed of pale staining mucopolysaccharide ground substance containing dispersed cells with long cytoplasmic processes. It is treated with surgical ex excision and may recur. This concludes Pathology, Chapter 7, Part 2.